Okay. That, that, that's when I was indicating the trees are on their property, but on the Lepore side of the fence. Oh, okay. That's a, a, so it, it's just the other side of the fence, uh, the interior side of the fence needs to be... Uh, planted. planted out, yes. Okay. Well, that, that's, uh, that I think is... Uh, so should the fence be extended? They're going to extend it back to line up with the new nursery stock area line that's on the map. And they don't have to extend it forward because there's not going to be anything happening in the forward area. Okay, so do we have a sense that that is not unreasonable? I just, well, have, one, I just one. have one more question on that two. passage. We have to talk about the second fence as well. Oh, we'll do well. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk about um, one fence. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't want to One more. Is there any way you would consider a wooden gate there to, pre to pre prevent people from using it as a cut through? You can still access your storage, but it discourages people from cutting through there. Oh, okay. you, get, well, you get the guy putting up the fence, and it could be much. <laughs> um, so. It wouldn't even have to be an eight-foot gate, just a just a gate. Three-foot three gate. Yeah. It's a crash gate. Preserves the fire department. You, you, you'd have that way. It would give you access to do. I'll put a chip, just a chain to, across. Make it, it would, work it would, best. You know, it would. Uh, it would uh, dissuade the you know the, right. the, the the uninformed that you don't want people traveling through there. It would have to be a double gate. Yeah. That's fine. That'd be fine. Yeah. So it swings open. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, two. Yeah, two, two panels. Two, yeah. Because from both sides. Right, yeah. yeah. Okay. I mean, I'm, I'm mostly, my, my goal would be to just discourage people from going. I'm not trying to prevent access back there because it sounds like you use it for storage, but I'm trying to prevent right. the cut through. So, um, whatever you want to propose, but I think it, it makes the application a lot yeah, more palatable. What about, now, what have we done about the length of the fence? We've extended the length, Alex. To the end of the tool shop? No, to yeah. where it says new nursery stock area. that planting area. area in the back. To the yeah. corner of the nursery. Okay. You can sort of... There's a willow. That's right there. The willow is All right. in a circle, so we'll somehow go ext Okay. We'll have to and get to through that measure. Yeah. Could I make a comment on the fence? Sure. Okay, thanks. Phil Johanning, 23 Parkwood Drive. Um, you know, with respect to like animals, like it seems to me that if the fence were closed, there would be less chance that any animal would enter into the property. And uh, additionally, Maggie and Josh had mentioned before that the wind is a problem and, and creates a maintenance problem for the fence. So if we close the fence, it keeps animals off the property and it, uh, it, uh, it uh, reinforces the strength of the fence. It gives it like an anchor. So it seems to me to um, continue the fence uh, back and enclose the property is better for sound attenuation, better for the fence, and better for the neighbors, and keeps animals out. Additionally, um, we have asked on a number of occasions that um, the fence should be um, on the inside for the old fields of the hemlocks on the back side. Um, we feel that that would give us the best protection uh, with respect to noise, and we would ask that the old fields would con would consider putting the um, uh, the fence on the eastern side, on the inside of the hemlocks, rather than on the outside of the hemlocks, with respect to where they are. We're just doing the forestry fence now. We're going to get to the the part. I thought we were talking about fences. Okay. We'll get to the other fence, but we're going to do the, this fence first. Okay, anything uh, eight feet? Eight feet. Sound attenuation Sound material. Sound attenuation material uh, with a, a wider band. That seems uh, okay. Uh, do we have a sense that that is uh, going to be acceptable? Move the yes. truck. Yes. Yeah, I would say so. Okay, I think that we've got enough people who sense that. <laughs> <laughs> that we can go on to the fence along uh, Parallel Line Parkwood Drive. 
which starts uh, which starts uh, does it start halfway in from the uh, it starts just at the Johanning property line okay right. yeah. and what does the Tevens say about that it stops at the Tevens property and they've asked not to have a fence no, they didn't. No, they haven't. They I'm haven't sorry. I'm sorry. It's the Coles. I'm sorry. sorry. My mistake. Yeah. Yeah. The Tevens did not have a response. We went on their property several years ago when we planted. They, they didn't have a response, so it probably should be an alternative provision that you do the fence unless they tell you not to. Or the other way. Since that would be an alternative provision also. <laughs> to your, to it's already your, written that way, so. Uh, so this fence is 30 feet in? Mm -hmm. Yes. How is that fence represented on this plan? It's not. It's shown as 10-foot fence, 30 feet off of lot line. Okay. The straight um, line and the X's. The X's. Else there. Oh, I think that's something else, actually. I thought, yeah, I might be looking at something else. See the straight line and the X's? No, ten foot fence. No, chain link fence, yeah. Yeah, ten foot fence. Yeah, but that's, an, that's a, the chain link is an existing fence, Correct. right? Okay, so you're going to replace that with a wooden fence? No, that's on their property. That's not on No, ten foot property. fence. This one? Yeah, that's ten foot fence, thirty foot fence. Like that one. Oh, you sorry. The symbol that you're using is the same as the chain link fence. That's what's confusing us. We're looking at the uh, description versus the uh, symbol. Mm -hmm. Okay, never mind. I agree. Got post it. and rail fences should be labeled differently. Yeah. Oh, post and rail, no, that's different as well. So this is going to be the same type of fence that's going along the Forest Street edge. Right. They they have uh, they have not mentioned sound attenuating material, but I have it that in the back of my mind. I think the qu the question that that was raised at the last hearing, yes. uh, the question was height versus sound attenuation. I, it was represented to us that they couldn't do both. Um, they due couldn't to, do due both. Due to structural what? ten feet and and the sound attenuation because, because it's it it worse with the sound attenuation and the height because you're going to catch more air like a sail. Yeah, so that you could do an eight foot with sound attenuation, but not a it's ten just foot. Just volume, how much air you catch And our, part of our thought is that. The purpose, real, the need for sound attenuation is the area proximate to where all the activity is going to happen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You really want to block that. The, the, this area is so far from the, um, the Roe Johanning property line that most of this, if this, whatever sound there is, and there is sound, will just go straight over the top. It won't get attenuated by the fence. The fence is really more, um, um, it's sort of a visual barrier. Um, to what of the activity that would be going on. The so. wood barn acts as, um, how tall is the wood barn? The, the barn is a three-story story structure mm -hmm. that acts as, which is what, more effective as a sound barrier. Um, well, than except when you're using it to dump wood or it's loading inside, wood inside the barn or oh, leaving I, with wood i had a question on that when you're so you're unloading the wood in the barn or loading either way is the truck able to fit completely into the barn so you can close the doors or are the doors still open yeah. there are, there, are no there are no doors on the the front of the barn okay. oh that's right we saw that um, i'm sorry and they the, call it a three-sided barn. That would be the one, yes. What time is it, Alex? <laughs> <laughs> so the um, truck can fit mostly into it. But and the cab is to the okay. cab is right. I, I guess if I could, I'd like to point out that there are eight trucks parked along this side of the barn. So the barn doesn't actually act as a sound impediment. These are all right here. And since they're diesel primarily, they start them and they leave them running for like a while because you know diesel has to, has to warm up. And so what happens is we, this particularly on like humid days or things like that, the smell um, comes over into our yard and it's just noxious. In addition, they put this um, recycle compost thing here and um, 
remember when Ned was originally showing it, it was back here on our property line, and he talked about um, how the old fields had not been good neighbors because the stench from that prohibited us from using our backyard. We couldn't use our pool, we couldn't use our backyard. We don't travel, we just stay home. And we really enjoy using our yard. But that, uh, that horrible smell uh, prevented us from doing that. And what has happened is it's, it's moved over here, but the smell is still there. And for us in the Tevens, it's, now I don't know what they intend to do to control the smell. That's why I suggested that perhaps it could be moved over here. Um, over here being? Being on this side of the lath house. That's why I would prefer if all these trucks Right where moved. the Christmas tree display area is. Well, that's all right. They have full control over the property. They can put the Christmas tree display no, area I'm, over I'm here. Just, no, I'm just... Over here. I was just... That's what it's labeled on the plan as. Sure, sure. But they could display Christmas trees over here. That would be great. It's just a, a, a matter of consideration. Like, um, like Pam was pointing out, a lot of the activity is still concentrated on lots... Um, 1B and 1C, which primarily affect Tevens, Lapori, and uh, and us. Phil, so, can you stand aside so I can see sure. what you're pointing to? So things? we're simply asking that maybe some of this could affect others. You know, not always, not always Lapori, Tevens, and Johanny. Um, you know, just put it so that we share the misery, let's say, a little bit more. So instead of having all the diesel fumes uh, blowing into my yard, Instead of having the, uh, the compost um, blowing into my yard and Tevens' yard, uh, you know, could we more fairly share the pain? You know, you will recall that neighbors on these sides, except for Melissa Walters, who has now sold her house and moved because of all this unpleasantness, and, uh, and uh, 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 Stephen Davis, um, they're the only people who, who complained of all the neighbors, um, but they didn't actually come. Pam and I have made our, our complaints known, and we've consistently opposed any expansion of the, of the nursery because we are the people who actually suffer. You know? And we're just asking that some of this pain be relocated so that all of us share in the pain equally. And I think moving these trucks and moving the compost would, would help to because uh, Pam and I and the Tevens will always have the wood. And we're talking about a 1,000 cords a year coming in and going out. There's no way, despite uh, all the razzle-dazzle of the truck and its, its moving bed and all this stuff, it, there's no way that's going to be quiet either. So there's nothing that can be done to pr help us with that. But, you know, could we at least move these trucks so we don't get the, the smell? Okay, we so will discuss the parking, but okay. we are discussing the fence right now. All right. Sure, can we yes, consolidate sir. public comments? Or, can we consolidate the public comments to, so we can get through this and then maybe take public comments? I don't comments see how else? we can. I don't see how it is possible to consolidate public. I mean, we can say, make all your comments now. Or at and, the end. And, but it time. isn't going to be effective. Or maybe okay. keep them specific to the paragraph that we're working on. So we talk about fences on fences and parking on parking and mulch on mulch. Well, I agree. Okay. I, I, I think that's the way to do it. I, I think that telling people, say everything you have to say now and uh, uh, then you're, you're done is not the way to handle it. Okay, but keep uh, it topic specific. So yes, fences. sir. You have to come and use the microphone. Oh, good. <laughs> Scott Johnson, 11 Hillside Street. I just want to make a comment that the uh, this there was a misstatement about having to smell the diesel fumes in a northern easterly direction from the nursery. If you note, the most commonly used landing at Logan Airport, the wind blows prevailing out of the Northeast more days than any other day of the year. And I just want to correct the record that <coughs> the diesel fuel blows away from the Johannic property. Thank you. Okay. So now, I was never visited my home. So the fence, the fence. I, I need to be sure of that. The fence. The fence. Are, do we extend it along Tevens and do we require sound attenuation? And I say yes to both. 
Oh, Tevens hasn't asked for the fence as one, so I just... Yeah, again, they again I find they have not asked for the fence. If you were to put a 10-foot fence in my backyard, I'd rather you not. I'd rather have a landscape. <laughs> so I think, I think we'd, we'd really like to hear from the Tevens before we decide to put a 10-foot fence in. With, right. uh, with That's what I suggested. I suggest we require it unless they say no. Well... Then the, the next or thing we is can Or we can commission Tim to go try and track the Tevenses down and ask them. He probably needs to step out of the office once in a while. Um, <laughs> on the fence, you know, I, I appreciate the idea of the 10-foot fence with the sound attenuation being a sale. So do we, I think we have a choice. Do we require an 8-foot fence with sound attenuation or a 10-foot fence without sound attenuation. You could put the t sound attenuation six, eight feet up on the 10-foot fence. <laughs> we could do. I mean, that's the other possibility. I mean, you, you got to always keep in mind, this fence, like I stated last time, is at elevation 184. Mm -hmm. The back of the Johannic house is at 178. The base of the fence is already six feet above the house, mm -hmm. the base of the elevation of the house. The top of this fence now is probably, what, what did I just say? Six and ten, and I was sixteen feet above. Mm -hmm. I mean, again, I, it's just becoming so you're putting it up in the air, and it's really not doing much of anything. All right, now um, I, mean, I can put something thirty feet up in the air above your house, but at a certain point, it's now we have all of it. Yes, agreed. Shall Thank we? Uh, uh, shall we contact the Tevenses? Sure. Why not? Ten past ten. You're thinking we should continue this? right now? <laughs> yes, right now. <laughs> 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 um, if they're listening, <laughs> please, please call in to yeah, our dedicated in. line. I, mean, I, yeah. I, I, I get a little nervous about reaching out to specific abutters. That, that, that sets a precedence for that, me on process that going forward that I'm not very excited about. I, I prefer that we either decide to put the fence up or not put the fence up. And the Tevens have been noticed. They can come and speak if they want to. I'd prefer not to reach out to them. I think it should go down to eight feet. Eight feet? On the Tevens line. <laughs> go up to ten, ten no, feet. No, 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 oh, no. You're no, really no, getting no, ugly no, now. No, no, no. no. <laughs> but I do, know, I do agree that it's ten past ten. I will definitely agree with you on that one. All right. I, we, we're going to have to, uh, uh, we have managed to locate the landscape yard tonight. And uh, we will try and be more efficient. So in continuing it and, uh, to the twenty continuing this third, you should know that we continued the condo article to seven o'clock. Yeah. Wow. And we have something else that's that's the sign article. We have the sign article as well that nope. starting at six forty five. <laughs> yes. I am out of the country that week. On the twenty third. I raised that last, yeah. last time we were here, but I am out of the country. But it just escaped our uh, but at the pace that things are going, um, I would be fine with my clients being here to engage in discussion with the board if the next opportunity is going to be the. I mean, everything we're discussing is not a demand. It's a suggested right. way to compromise. Yes. You know, protect. I think we're working towards an order. I think we're working towards our conditions by in a in a dialogue here. So. Right. Yeah, if you're comfortable being here on the 23rd, then... I don't know if they were getting that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Are you okay? Yeah. Okay. I think they feel like they can. Okay. I mean, you're essentially I'll taking notes license. of what we're recommending, and at some point you'll decide yeah. how you want to deal with that. Okay. But and without Emily next time, how will we know what we've done? Tim's <laughs> taking it all down as well. I'll have our notes. All right. Uh, so 7.30, because with both the sign bylaw and the condominium bylaw ahead of this. You are the, uh, you are the condominium expert. Uh, how long do you think it will take? I think, uh, I think we should continue this to 7.30. Yeah. Okay. So, 7.30 uh, on the 23rd. And we have a motion to uh, adjourn this meeting. I believe we uh, we're good. continuing the hearing until uh, 7.30 7 on the 23rd. Yeah. And uh, we have a motion to adjourn. And, uh, 
favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.